Welcome to Rhonda here with Foods 101. Today I'm showing you how to make a classic apple strudel. Absolutely fantastic during this fall season with all these lovely fresh apples. The apples I'm using today is a Granny Smith. I've got three medium sized Granny Smith apples here. You're going to need one third of a cup of butter, three fourths of a cup of sugar, one fourth of a cup of all purpose flour, one half cup of panko crumbs. These are these Japanese breadcrumbs. That's going to absorb the juices from these apples while the apples are baking in our oven. One fourth of a teaspoon of salt, one and one half teaspoons of cinnamon, one fourth of a cup of raisins, and of course you're going to need phyllo dough, which is these really super thin strips of dough. This is the brand that I use. You're going to need about 20 sheets. These are 9 by 14 inches per sheet. Really super thin, delicate, really beautiful and lovely and makes this apple strudel so delicious and a can of your spray i'm using pure olive oil if you want to use a butter flavor that's fine too and i'll show you how to use it here in a little bit so let me show you how we're going to prepare our apples first you're going to clean your apples under cool running water tap water and with a paring knife which i have here we're just going to start peeling the outside of the apple off until we get all the way to the end and you'll do this with all three apples uh oh I try not to break my outside layer I always see if I can get all the way down to the bottom there it came off in two pieces but that's all right because it's all going to go together anyway and then we're going to just cut the apple in half and be careful when you're working with a knife I mean just be very very careful and we're going to cut it in quarters, take out the center, as you can see, because you don't want any seeds in your apple. And I'm just going to cut mine in small cubes, as you can see right here. This is what I'm looking for. I've got all my Granny Smith apples cubed. Now, to my apples, I'm going to add the raisins along with two tablespoons of melted butter right here on the top. Make sure you get all that butter out of there. And we're taking two forks and we're just going to toss this so we can evenly coat those cubed apples and our raisins. All right, that looks perfect. In another bowl, we're going to add the sugar, the flour, the salt, and cinnamon. We're going to give this a lovely little whisking so we can get these four ingredients really super well incorporated. And now back with the apples and the raisins and the butter that we've tossed them in, we're going to add this right here onto the top. And we're going to use our forks and we're going to just toss this around till we get every little cubed apple and raisin coated with our flour and our sugar. Sit this off to the side as we prepare our phyllo dough. I've got a 15 by 20 inch sheet of parchment paper down here. And as you can see, I've just taped the end. For the phyllo dough, you've got these lovely little layers, you see, of your dough. They're like super paper thin. And the part that you're not working with, it's very important that you cover it with damp paper towels because it'll dry out very quickly and it's going to start tearing and breaking on you. I've got one thin piece of our phyllo dough here and right beside it I'm going to add an extra. Now if you see a tear in it like this, no worries, you can take a piece of dough and just lie it right here. And now with our spray, we're just going to lightly spray it. Now, if you want to add butter and you want to brush it with butter, you may do that too. We're going to make about five layers high of our phyllo dough. So here comes my other, and this is very delicate to work with, but oh my goodness, does it pay off in the end because it's absolutely flaky, delicious, and you're going to be amazed at this apple strudel. Okay, now we've got our second layer. And now with our second layer, make sure you evenly stack them on top of each other. Then we're taking our spray and we're going to spray it again. 
And I'm going to give it a final spray. And on top of this, I'm adding these panko crumbs. This is going to absorb the juice from the apples when it's baking. You spread it all over the top of your phyllo dough. Just like this, about one inch from the edge. And just get it as evenly as you can. And now, back with our apples, we're going to start over here on this edge and we're going to place them right here at the beginning when we start rolling. Now, you want to leave this about an inch from the edges, but we're going to fit it all in this lovely little pile right here. As you can see, take your time. Don't be in a hurry. That looks like it's about all even. Make sure you get all that sugar and raisins and apples out okay there you go and then we're going to start rolling it and oh my gosh i can already tell i can smell how delicious this is so fresh and fall is in the air nothing like a freshly baked apple dessert now i'm going to wash my hands before i start rolling to start rolling i'm just going to roll up the sides come up with my dough and as you can see with your parchment paper, you can kind of help allow it to roll. But you want to pull it down very, very tightly. And pull up your sides. So all your dough will bake in with these apples and just keep rolling. All right, just like this. Keep rolling. And there you've got it. Now you want to transport this over here on a lined cookie sheet that I've lined with parchment paper. So we're just going to lift it up and put it over and we want to tuck in the ends. You're going to tuck in the ends just like this and with the rest of that butter we're going to just brush it here on the top and also make sure you butter the ends as well because you don't want it drying out. Bake on the lower rack in your oven for the next 45 to 55 minutes. Apple strudel has baked. We're just going to let it cool down for about an hour and I'll cut into it so you can see what it's like in the center and I'll tell you what it tastes like. Turned out absolutely beautiful and I'm using a serrated knife to cut into it. Can't wait to see what it looks like on the inside so here goes. And looky there, how fantastic that looks. Oh my gosh, I am so excited about that. And as you can see over here on the end, a little bit of the apple juice and the sugar came out. But this is just a lovely little crunchy piece of mm, deliciousness. And if you could smell the baked apples, and, ooh, and I feel a little warmth coming out of the apple strudel. Mm, we're just going to cut it in half again. And if you want it to cool a little longer, you may. But looky there at that. That is absolutely going to be fantastic. Mmm. Gotta give it a try. Put it on a plate. Put some ice cream on there. Put some whipped cream. Whatever makes you happy, everybody. Mmm. Oh my mercies. Mmm. That crunchy phyllo dough with those tender apples, the cinnamon, the sugar. Y'all, this is a win-win. Hey, leave me a comment below. Give me thumbs up here on YouTube or Instagram. Thanks a million for watching, y'all. And I'll catch you next time. Mm -hmm.